So welcome back, all you beautiful patriots out there. It's your boy, Tyrone, Mr. Conservative. And yeah, patriots, I'm back at you guys with a somewhat quick video. Y'all know the demonstration. I will try my best to make this video as quick as possible for you guys. So please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff for me, guys. Don't forget to share the video. Don't forget to call me Mr. Conservative. And I want to take a moment here, you guys, and I want to talk about Joe Biden releasing 1 million barrels of oil a day for the next six months. You heard me right. 1 million barrels of oil a day for the next six months from our reserve, from the United States Strategic reserve did you hear me how did you guys feel about that please comment below let me know how you guys feel about it you guys agree with it disagree with it chime in open discussion you guys open discussion now i want to take a moment here and i want to talk about this because we watched joe biden blame everybody else for this crisis yes it is a crisis but joe biden the fault is yours okay you are free to make whatever decision you want to make but you are not free from the consequences that come along with those decisions i just want to point that out now it is a coinky dink that they're doing this right around the corner when midterm right right around the corner and it's midterm now they want to do this they want to lower the price of the gas pump why 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 so his game plan is his game plan is oh we're going to release the oil now from the reserve and we're going to buy it in six months at a cheaper price that that is that is his game plan so this is what he's doing he's taking all of his money right all of his chips and he's putting it on red on the roulette table yeah yeah we're going to put it on there right there that's that's what he's doing all of his eggs in one basket because we see inflation high high 7.5 9 percent we see it super high right so who not to say six months from now we're not looking at 14, 15, 16% inflation, right? So you're telling me gas prices are going to be cheaper then, right? Then now, so, I mean, please comment below. Let me know. Am I crazy? Am I talking crazy? Do I not know what I'm talking about? Please comment below and let me know, man. See, look, look, they're doing all of this stuff because they know the midterm election is coming around and they know that they're going to take a massive loss. These Democrats are afraid that people are looking at the gas price. But also we are looking at the food shortage. We are also looking at inflation. We are looking at all of these poor policies that you guys are pushing. You know what I mean? There's so much more to do with this than just the high gas prices. You know what I mean? Like, yes, I am happy to see some relief come to the gas pump because I am suffering. You are suffering. We're all suffering. Okay, I don't care if you're a Democrat, liberal, conservative, Republican, uh, constitutionist or whatever. I, I don't care. Right. We are all suffering at the at the hands of these high gas prices. All right. We are all suffering. So, I, I mean, look, but I, I want you guys to remember. I want you guys to remember this. This is Joe Biden fault. OK, this is his fault. Let me explain how it's his fault. All right. Because since he took control, right, since he got in office, we slowly seen gas prices increase. 10 cents here, 20 cents there, 30 cents here. You know what I mean? We started off at two dollars here in Democrat, Illinois. Right. We started off at two dollars. Right. We seen it go from two twenty, two thirty, two forty, two fifty, two three dollars, three seventy five, three eighty. And now because the whole mumbo jumbo that's going on with Russia and Ukraine. Now we're above that, like four, four seventy five, four sixty, right? Yeah. But look, this is Joe Biden's fault because, like I said, he went after the Keystone Pipeline. He put regulations, 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 more restrictions against all of these oil companies, right? Our energy sector, no more fracking, no more offshore drilling. See, people are not paying attention to the bigger picture here. That is the bigger picture. Like, look, this is Joe Biden's fault. All right, he needs to own up to it. Stop blaming everybody else. Stop blaming Trump. Stop blaming us. You know, stop blaming the oil company. It is your fault. He also said in his speech, you guys, this is also, he said that he was going to punish, punish the oil company, our energy sector. Yes, he said he was going to punish them because they're not producing or ramping up production. Well, sir, it's your fault that they're not ramping up production. It's your fault. You're the one tying their hands behind their back and saying, hey, produce more oil. Why don't you just do this? How about you just say, hey, you know what? What do I have to do? What restriction do I have to lift? Do I have to open up the Keystone Pipeline? What do I have to do to help you guys ramp up production? I mean, look, Joe Biden, if you really care about the American people, I mean, look, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a college professor, but I can figure this out for you. Look, all you got to do is just undo everything that you did. Undo everything that you did. Simple as that. All those executive orders, retract them. I don't know. Is, is, is that how we do it? Retract them? Whatever. Just go back to Trump policy, okay? I understand a lot of people don't like Trump, okay? I understand. Y'all don't like him. I get it. I love him. You know what I mean? No homo. But look, he's a man for the job. He was the right man for the job. He's a numbers guy, all right? That, and, and that's why we did so good when Trump was in office. I know a lot of people didn't like the way he talked. 
but that's that's fine. That's okay. Look, he did a good job as a president. You know what I mean? We didn't we didn't see inflation like this. We didn't see gas prices like this. You know what I mean? Our our country wasn't in the crapper. You know what I mean? Because he was putting America first. He was making sure that me and you was taken care of. Real talk. That is facts on top of facts. I don't care what you think. That is facts on top of facts. That is a check that you can go to the bank and cash. It is good as gold. You know what I mean? Real talk on that one. I love saying real talk, but I'm going to try not to say it so much because someone mentioned, hey, man, you said a real talk a lot. You know, that's okay. But yeah, Patriots, look, this is this man's fault. All right. So yeah, they're going to release 1 million barrels of crude oil a day for the next six months with the hoping and praying that, you know, it's going to be cheaper then so they can restock the, the, the reserves. You know what I mean? I mean, that doesn't make very much sense to me. It's like, Hey, look, we all put money in our savings account, right? And that savings account is for a rainy day, right? That is what that saving account is for, for retirement or whatever the case, whatever you're saving up for, right? For a rainy day. But look, this doesn't make any sense doesn't make any sense. So you're going to empty out, you're going to empty out your savings account, right? You're going to empty out your savings account, right? For what? You're supposed to make that stuff last. You're supposed to spread it out thin. You know what I mean? Look, Patriots, he is going to put this country even further in a crapper, right? We're not going to have anything left in our reserves. It's just going to be exactly like Trump said during the pandemic. He's like, man, I am coming in to empty cupboards, empty cupboards. Everything's empty. Everything is empty. Everything is empty. Patriots, they're only doing this because of the midterm election. You do know this, right? They're only doing it because of the midterm election. That's the only reason why they're doing this. They're not doing it because they actually care about you. They, they don't They don't care about me, right? They don't care about none of us, okay? What they're doing is because, hey, they know that this is going to hurt them when midterm election come around. That's the reason why they're doing it. And, and it so happened that it's six months. You, get, you notice that? It so happened that it's six months. Do the math. Do the math. Do the math, Patriots. That's all I'm asking. Just do the math. No liberal. I know you're in the background saying eh, 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 racism, racism. It means no, it, it doesn't. No, no. Math is math, right? But yeah, Patriots, how do you guys feel about this? Please comment below. Let me know. You guys in support of this. I mean, I mean, yeah, I'm happy to see some relief, but like, I can't help but to say at what price, at what price, not, not at the destruction of my country, not at the destruction of my country, because that's, that, that's why I feel like we're going down. You're going to empty out the reserve. Okay. Because you want to look good for midterm election, right? No, own it, own it, own it. Go, go, go. If you, if you got some cojones, go in there. Saying, yeah, I did that. I did that. Like those stickers you see at the gas pump, right? I did that. Yes, you did. Yes, you did, sir. Yes, you did, sir. And a lot of people like to say, oh, man, he doesn't know what he's doing. He knows exactly what he is doing, Patriots. And that is destroying this country. Okay, he's listening to AOC, Bernie Sanders, the rest of the squad, all them crazy lefty loonies, right? He's listening to them. And and they go is to destroy this country. All right. That is their goal. That's the end. That, that's the end game for them to destroy this country and everything that this country stand for. That is their end game. And I think he's doing a pretty successful job at doing that. Would you guys agree with me? Disagree with me? Comment below. Let me know. A lot of people are like, oh, man, we can't just blame Joe Biden. Yeah, we can. Yeah. Yeah. We can put the put the blame square on him because he's the one to sign those executive orders. He's the one to sign them. I don't care if AOC gave him the idea. I don't care. if Bernie Sanders pushed it up on him. I don't care if, if 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 Pelosi, if none of them was, you know, talking in his ear. He's the one to sign the executive order. So the blame lies square on him. And hey, Joe Biden, if you really want to help the American people, get your freaking foot off the oil industry neck. That's all you got to do. Get your foot off their neck. Because that is exactly, you're the one holding them back. You're the one holding them down. I mean, that's facts on top of facts. Facts on top of facts, man. I mean, like, yeah. But man, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about it. Because if I continue going, I'm going to start cussing. And y'all know how YouTube do. I don't want to do that, man. I don't want to get super upset. I don't want to get you guys super upset. But I want you guys to realize this is Joe Biden's fault. It's not your fault. It's not my fault. It's not the oil industry fault. It's his fault. It's his fault. You know what I mean? And they're only doing this because of the midterm election, okay? We watched gas prices rise as soon as he took control of the office. As soon as he took control of the office. You know what I mean? And on top of that, Patriots, and on top of that, he could fix this problem without releasing oil from the reserve. He can. Only he got to do is undo the problem that, I mean, undo the, the, the policies, right? Policies that he put 
against the oil industries when he first took control of office. That's, that's I mean, simple as that. Open up the Keystone Pipeline, sit down, talk talk to the oil industries, say, hey, what, what can we do? But he's not doing any of that. Just, just thought I would point that out to you guys. So let's end the video like we normally end the video, you guys, with the let's make America great. Oh, Patriots, y'all see that American flag. And let's keep America great. Come on in here. I'm going to tell you how we're going to do those two things. We need made in America is what's going to make this country great right made in america is what's going to keep this country great and i'll be coming back at you guys with another video